okay uh, before we start uh, what we will do is guys we will revise whatever we have done then we will proceed ahead okay so just uh, listen to me what we have done guys we started with cost sheet when i say cost sheet cost sheet it means a piece of paper on which details of cost is written when you say details of cost now you need to understand cost is divided into how many parts if i talk about the cost your cost will be divided into two parts one will be direct cost another will be indirect cost and then one statement will be presented to show the bifurcation of the cost in more detail so let us start with that if i talk about the cost sir that cost is divided into two parts direct cost indirect cost acha uh, can someone please tell me indirect cost is also known as what indirect cost is also known as overheads overheads exactly so we know that indirect cost is also known as overheads theek hai now if i talk about the direct cost there are three parts like we can say direct material direct labor direct expenses when you take the total of this that is known as one of the uh, one of the cost which you incurred at the very beginning that is your prime cost okay once you get your prime cost first of all if i ask you where do you incur this cost sir this cost is incurred in the factory only but this is a direct cost which is incurred in the factory there is one more cost which is incurred in the factory which is indirect cost okay sir so that cost which is indirectly incurred in the factory is known as factory overhead sir any example yes depreciation on machinery supervisor salary factory rent and all okay once you add this you gonna get your factory cost but that is not known as factory cost this will be known as gross factory cost exactly because there is a wip which is lying in the go down you need to make adjustment for that wip stock also so you will add opening stock and less closing stock of wip and after adjusting your wip the answer which you get is factory cost acha one more thing this factory cost is also known as what this factory cost is also known as bolo work cost yeah it is also known as works cost works cost is nothing but work happens in factory that is production work that's why it is also known as works cost or you can also say that it is also known as factory cost of production or we can simply say it is a works cost okay that is a factory cost and works cost okay after that i can say that uh, once the factory cost is done inside factory there are uh, other cost also which are incurred we have to show them separately and there is one uh, shortcut which is there with us that is the q wrap minus crap acha uh, you should be able to tell me when i say q it means you should know what is q q means quality Co quality control. control exactly now i will tell r means research and development a means uh, administration but only that administration which is connected with production activity then there is a primary packing primary packing if it is a secondary packing where will it come in which overhead selling and distribution selling and distribution if it is a secondary packing it will form a part of selling and distribution over it exactly okay that is at the time of distribution we can so at the time of sales it is a primary packing which is in factory so i can say then less sale of scrap now there are two types of scraps uh, one uh, which is generated when the raw material was in go down and one which is generated when the raw material was there in the factory when production activity was happening this is one raw material scrap which is generated in store and the under raw material uh, the scrap which is generated in factory it is during production activity tell me if i talk about this this is scrap number 1 this is scrap number 2 tell me this scrap number 2 will be subtracted from where from raw material consumed or from q wrap q wrap q wrap it is during production activity so when i said it is during production activity on this scrap we have incurred material labor and overheads also so it should be subtracted after adding all these expenses therefore it will be subtracted here but if there is only raw material scrap which is generated in store or in go down then it should be subtracted from raw material consumed okay so you should be clear with this okay now once i say this once i say that uh, you get your uh, cost of production once you say this is your cost of production now one thing you can do once you get your cost of production now there is one total column which we guys have now there is one more column which is cpu column now we need to tell me when do you prepare cpu column i need one data then only i can prepare cpu column tell me exactly i need simply units data that is finished goods units if that data is there that is then only i can divide by units na to i need units data acha if units data is given in the question sir then what to do opening 
plus production then you will sell that is quantity sold and remaining will be clothing stock of finished goods theek hai when you are adding all the expenses which are incurred in the which are incurred during the year all the expenses are incurred during the year for the purpose of production so therefore it is known as cost of production whatever answer you get then in that if you add opening stock of finished good if you subtract closing stock of finished goods you you going to get cost of goods sold so in this case i can say that add opening stock of finished goods less closing stock of finished goods you are going to get quantity that is cost of goods sold now the question arises till cost of production if you want to calculate the cpu what will be your formula sir this divided by this then you will get cpu up to cost of production total cost upon quantity produced exactly it will be total cost because that cost is incurred for the purpose of production okay then from cogs uh, you all understand now the data pertains to quantity sold therefore your total cost column will be divided by quantity sold now there is one more question which comes how you will value the closing stock so that closing stock will be valued like this that whatever is your cpu over here like let us the cpu is 2 rupees what does this indicate cpu this indicates that during the year as and when you produced one unit guys you have incurred 2 rupees for one unit that is your cost per unit suppose you have 10 units in your godown 10 units in your godown as a closing stock i can say that value will be 10 into 2 that is 20 rupees that is nothing but quantity into cost of production per unit which is 2 okay having done this you gonna get your cogs now it is like your uh, trading uh, manufacturing account is done now you have to come to the pnl account in pnl account there are two more overheads that is office and administration which are general overheads and there is a selling and distribution these overheads are there when you add them this is the final cost there is no other cost which is pending goods are being dispatched or distributed to the customers i can say house now or home we can say now once you get this cost this is the final cost that's why this is known as total cost or it is popularly known as cost of sale that is cost at the time of sale when you sold the product that is the final cost add profit and get your sales that's it yeah acha one more thing uh, suppose in the question nothing is specified suppose in the question nothing is specified only office and administration this much is written now you have two options either you will have to assume uh, it is a part of q wrap or it will come along with selling and distribution so in the absence of information what will you do q wrap or selling and distribution s and d Ha, it is selling and distribution. It is general administration overhead. Only if it is specifically written in bracket, office and admin, which are connected with production activity, then only you will say it is connected with production. So please, it should be written in Q R. Okay, sir. Ah, uh, this much revision is sufficient. Ah, uh, that the formula has been discussed. Whatever we have done in the previous lecture, even that has been discussed. Ah, uh, now we can start with our questions. Okay, let's start. Ah. Uh,